Hello everyone, and today we're talking magnification optics. Now, as you can see here, I have the boxes lined for these. Um, I'm going to be, I'd, instead of going into an in-depth review of each one of these items, I'm going to do an overview of all of them, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I This, I won't, I am 100% sure I won't be doing a review on, an individual review that is. This triplet I may, and this little microscope thing I may, because it's really nice. Anyways, uh, let's begin. So, I'm going to bring the boxes up here. These, these are their respective boxes. So, this comes with a little pouch in this box. It says, uh, with LED microscope 45 times. Definitely not 45 times. Focus adjusting barrel. Made in China, as expected. Got a little damage during shipping, but that's not a big deal. So, I'll put this aside. Then we have this guy here, which is, um, just comes in a plain white box. It says LO22. This is a scribble on the back for some reason. Uh, but it's just a plain white box. There's nothing special about it. So, I'm going to set this aside as well. This comes in this, these come in this box. It says Jeweler Zoop 30 times 21 millimeters, not 30 times. I know for a fact it isn't a twenty <laughs> thirty millimeters. Um lettering kit knife on uh, in case you guys were wondering what that was. They come in these little cases. Uh they're little plastic cases. I don't keep them in the little plastic cases though. And the little plastic cases are here, let me set the camera down again. And I apologize for setting the camera down so much. They come lined with this velvet material thing. I don't know what, what to call it. It's, it's just some really nice plastic for packaging. So they come in these little boxes with these little cases. You can imagine what that looks like. It's very simple. And this, of course, is open to fit inside the packaging. Anyways, uh, remove that. Up there, I have my scale so I can weigh them for you. And let's begin with the trains loops. These. So, if you could tell, let's begin with this one actually. Um, if you could tell, this says, f these come in a kit by the way, these two. This silver and that one come in a kit for $6. Um, as you can see, it says Jewelers Loop, five elements, take note of that. Uh, 20 times 12 millimeters, and this is, uh, again, 10 times by 18 millimeters. Comes with the little plastic case, it says Jewelers Loop. In China, pretty standard box. So to begin with, they're loose. Second, the markings erased within five minutes of usage, and and they are loose. Oh my God, they're loose. It holds its place here, but it's loose. Here, let me zoom in to. There we go. Zoom in focusing. So, as you can tell, I, I can say this is at least a triplet. This definitely doesn't have five elements, though. Now, it does, this, this gets blurry towards the edges, as expected from a cheap Chinese loop. Gets blurry towards the edges. Um, has a nice focal point, though. Then we have this ten times loop, which is about eight times, to be honest with you. Um, Again, uh, these lens are cloudy. The the optics are cloudy. They are because they're dusty inside. I assure you, I've cleaned these with a the microfiber cloth before the video. The, le the the lenses at least. And again, distortion gets cloudy towards the edges. Um. So that's that loop. Then we be then we go on to this loop here, which again is the loose beyond belief. It, it, oh, my finger's blocking it so you can't really see it, but yeah, you, you get the gist. It's loose. This is a 21 millimeter, not 30 times, I assure you that. Um, here is magnification demonstration if it would focus not on the loop. Whatever. But you can tell the lens are cloudy inside. Again, not very high quality, um, but they come in a, in a pack of um, two for six dollars. Uh, they're decent, they work, 
They're pretty high polished. Um, they are loose though. Keep that in mind. Um, but they are decent if you're looking just as a novelty thing. Buy that. If you're looking to get into more serious uh, things. Actually, before I move on, I was going to weigh them at the end, but I'll weigh them for you now. These, this one in grams is 38.85 grams. So 39 grams. And this here is, if I could, 30.5 uh, grams. So together they weigh about 60 grams. 69 grams, my meth failed me. Um, so 69 grams, pretty pretty good, about 70 grams both. Uh, no cases, apart from the plastic case, but no carrying cases with them. So next I'm going to move on to this loop here, which I'm before I show you it, I'm going to weigh it. So you can get a weight difference with the case. This weighs uh, 34.2 grams. Without the case which is leather, it's bonded leather by the way uh, it weighs 24.6 let me turn off my scanner um, let's put it back in its case actually we'll show you the case so the case, it's bonded leather it's been sewn together by machine of course uh, it is leather though, it is, it's bonded leather so you can't do the scratch testing and it has a button snap, a very a nice button snap, it says Guang Tong which of course is not American or by any brand, um, any recognizable brand of button snap. As you can tell, the in inner case, that's a little flap thing that's, I don't know why it's in there, it's just there. Uh, it doesn't serve any purposes, it's just there. Um, pretty solid, click there, snaps on, open with one hand, flexible leather, I like it. Now on to the triplet itself. This is a 10 power triplet. This is a true 10 power triplet. And simply by looking at the optics. You don't have to look through the optics. Just look at the optics. Now look at these optics. Certainly the, the lens is bigger. But you can tell those are cloudy. These are crystal clear. I haven't cleaned this one though. Let, allow me to... to polish this this is the one I use and it gets fingerprints on it sometimes so that's that's a uh, much of much higher quality optics as you can clearly tell rivets this is tight this this does not just flap around it, it doesn't just flap. it doesn't just flap around the markings don't rub off that's another thing um, Powder coated, I believe. Very nice finish onto this loop. Now, I'm going to attempt to. Oh god! <laughs> Knocking my camera down. I'm going to attempt to show you what this can do. If I zoom in here. I may be able to show you what this can do. Just by putting my scale here. Alright, so you can see the scratches in the scale. The plate of the scale there. It's pretty nice. Um, it's a really nice loop. It's quite good towards the edges as well. I find that there are no issues towards the edges. Um, it holds its its image quality is very very good. It's comparable, actually very very comparable to a Belomo and a Hastings loop. My friend has a Hastings loop, um, a ten year old Hastings loop that he got from his dad, um, and it's very very comparable as I found to that loop. It's almost the same image quality, and this is only fourteen dollars. So. Evaluate, guys. Evaluate. It's a very, very good loop. If you want a high quality loop, you're paying twice the price. It, well, it ranges from 11 to $15, depending on when you get it. So, $6 or double the price and get a 
really really high quality loop that has this is an entirely different world um, and then we have this little microscope which I got for magnification purposes not for um, image crisp image quality just sheer magnification claims to be 45 times for two bucks didn't think it was 45 times and I was correct it is actually about 20 times though which is really nice it has this included LED light which is shearingly bright should probably not shine it into the camera because it could damage the sensor you can look down through that you can see that the, again the optics not the highest quality but again sheer magnification a couple bucks great deal um, as you can tell pretty astounding magnification there actually we're closer to what the human eye sees you know, allow, allow me to turn the light on would be right there so that's right about what the human eye sees of course not as blue but yeah the image is really blue there so that's closer to what the human eye sees um, now bat replacing this is focusable by the way to allow you to focus on different portions of it I can't really show you that on camera and this pops out and you can easily remove those batteries which are LR927's some battery equivalents are I believe I'm not gonna actually mention names because I don't remember right now um, but there you can search those up this does come off if you don't want the illumination unit on the microscope itself it is angled so maybe that's down for you and it comes in this leather head pouch which is plastic I'm not gonna lie it's 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 straight up plastic Pouch. Yeah, if you can flip it inside out with with a thumb, it's it's plastic. It's by no means leather. Um, but hey, it works to protect this little guy from the outside world. And it gives me about twenty power. Well, my loop over there gives me about ten power. Um, so yeah, it's really good actually for sheer magnification, and it gives a really nice image quality, close to this. Uh, this for a couple bucks now Granted you, you you're gonna want to choose wisely now I'm gonna show you a pen that you guys that you guys have seen on this channel before that you're familiar with I'm gonna attempt to focus onto this pen here I'm having uh, not very good results with it because I'm so far away Again, it's not. Oh, there we go. As you can see, the feet's slightly out of line there. Mm, not, not, not focusing here. For me. And, and, and it's within the focal range of the loop as well. Can't really give you an <laughs> optics demonstration, unfortunately, because my camera is a dick. So, I'll tr you know what, I'll try again. If I can pull this off, I will be really happy. Please, camera. Autofocus. Help me here. Please, camera. I'm rotating it for you. I'm, I'm letting you... Just, just focus. Just focus, please. Please. Okay, no, it's not going to focus. Uh, so you're kind of going to have to take my word for that this loop is a really high quality loop. Um, I would recommend buying it. I'll put a link in the description to both of these products. If enough requests happen, this, but I'm not. That was a waste of money. Um, <laughs> in all honesty. But, so yeah. If you're going to get a loop, get this loop. If you want sheer magnification, get this. Um, but this isn't the this is the SE loop, the 10 power loop comes in a little plastic, plastic, um, leather pouch. Really dig it. This is the uh 45 magnification 
brass, quote unquote brass, um, microscope, mini microscope, goes for a couple bucks on Amazon, both of these can be found on Amazon, uh, I'm gonna put, uh, the links to these in the description, so, thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, uh, please rate, comment, possibly even subscribe. Stay tuned for more. And as always, thanks for watching. I mean, take care. I'm fucking stupid. Sorry. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.